Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. If you wanna know how to achieve this eye look, I just filmed a tutorial using this beautiful palette here. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I will leave the video linked up in the corner. In today's video, I am going to be doing another anti-haul and this anti-haul is going to be featuring purely holiday releases. So I just realized I forgot to put mascara on. Shall we do it now? So for those of you that don't know, Anti Horse was started by the wonderful Kimberly Clark. I will leave her video linked down below. She has a whole range of videos about anti-consumerism, the effect that it's having, and all, all those wonderful topics that nobody really wants to talk about on the internet. So if you wanna, yeah, see some more videos from her, I will leave her channel linked down below and you can see where the anti haul bad came from. I will also leave linked down below the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page and the Beauty News Instagram page. That's usually where I get my photos for this video from. So without further ado, let's get into the video and mention my first product, which is the Jouer Cosmetics Holiday Collection. And there's quite a lot in this collection. There's six, what it looks to be liquid lipsticks, seven like shiny like highlighter, lip gloss topper things, eight nude liquid lipsticks by the looks of it, six like metallic lipstick lip set, six highlighters in two different sets. So there's quite a lot in this collection and I won't be buying any of it. One of the reasons why is this collection is just so overwhelming for me that I just can't decide what to choose from. And none of the none of the items really jump out to me in terms of their looks like they're deep liquid lipsticks. They look a bit patchy from what I'm seeing here and none of the colours jump out to me. They're glittery lip toppers. No thank you. I don't want a bar of that. I don't want any lip I don't want any glitter on my lips. The idea of like glitter lip glosses doesn't really do it for me all that much. The nudes, none of the nudes really jump out and I've already probably got all of these colors in like another formula from another brand so that's a note as well and I certainly do not need any more highlighters from the highlighters that I have purchased recently. I don't need any more so sorry Jue, I won't be purchasing anything from your Christmas collection and it's a no from me for now. Next I have the Dose of Colors Christmas collection and this contains two liquid lipstick sets and it's a nude and a red set. So I won't be purchasing either of these. I've heard that the Dose of Color liquid lipstick formula is quite drying and I can't handle a drying liquid lipstick on my lips. My lips are quite dry to begin with and as soon as I put something like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick on my lips that is drying, my lips go into meltdown. So I won't be purchasing these and the colors don't really do it for me either. Like once again, I've probably got all these colors in another formula. So it's a no for me for the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick sets for Christmas. Next up is the ColourPop Holiday Collection. Now I think the some of these are Sephora exclusive, so I'll leave a, a photo here. My main reason why I'm not going to purchase any of this stuff from, from ColourPop is I'm getting so, like so overwhelmed by what ColourPop is bringing out at the moment. Like I think since I purchased my last palette, which was the My Little Pony palette, I think they've brought out maybe five or six new palettes since then and I just can't keep up. It's, it's doing my head in. This picture alone here has two palettes in it, but it's also got, it's got the Polite AF Super Shock Shadow Set and then there's a three Super Shock Shadow, Shadow Set and then there's two sets of three lip trios, which is the Ultra Satin Lip Formula and I don't really like the Ultra Satin Lip Formula. I find it slips around on my lips too much and I get it all over my face. So I won't be purchasing anything from this collection and as far as I'm aware, some of the stuff in this collection is Sephora US exclusive, so I won't be able to get my hands on it anyway. So if I wanted to purchase it, I wouldn't be able to anyway. So it's a no for the ColourPop Christmas collection. The next one is the Kevin Aquan the Neo Trio palette and this retails for $58. Now this is three magnetic travel size face palette so if anyone if you've seen their neo 
highlighting palettes which is kind of like a it's a gradient effect within one palette this is three of those in a smaller size but you can actually like clip them or they magnetize together as far as I'm aware for one thing I'm not interested in this because I think it's about $80 in Australia I've heard quite I've heard quite mixed things about the Kevin Kwan neo highlighters some people have said that they're amazing some people have said that they're not so i'm not really willing to take that risk in australia this neo trio palette is 85 dollars as i said before i've got enough highlighters i don't need any more it really takes something to wow me for me to be able to jump at it with my money when it comes to highlighters i don't think i need any more colored highlighters yeah i think i've i've met my quota for highlighters for now so it's a no for me for that one the next one is the makeup forever the lustrous blush palette and here's a photo of this i saw a photo of this before i saw the price and man i was like come to me that is my perfect palette i have been dying to try the makeup forever blushes because i have heard that they are phenomenal but 150 dollars like 150 dollars for 12 blushes so it's got it comes with four face blushes four sculpting blushes and four highlight colors if this wasn't so expensive i would be like take my money but 150 dollars and that's 150 dollars us so this would probably be closer to maybe 200 even over $200 in Australia. So like that that makes me lose my breath a little bit because I, I know it's 12 face colors and I know I would probably use it and I know that the face products are probably phenomenal but I just can't justify that kind of money. Like man that's expensive. So purely for that reason I won't be purchasing I won't be purchasing this palette unfortunately. Next I have here is the Huda Beauty Holiday Collection. Now this comes with five lip sets which contain a lip pencil, a lipstick and a lip strobe. It also there are also the four new mini eyeshadow palettes and there is a highlighter palette, a mini strobe set. So all that and the lip sets come in these weird like lip tins and they they look kind of weird. I have also heard not not great things about the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. So I am kind of a bit hesitant when I start hearing quite mixed reviews about a certain formula. I've got that much makeup at the moment that like I have to be quite picky when it comes to things like that. They also have the lip strobes which doesn't do anything for me either. I yeah wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole unfortunately. The highlighter palette. I've swatched some of the Huda Beauty highlighter palettes before in store in Sephora and to be honest I wasn't all that impressed by the formula. They have beautiful shades in them don't get me wrong but yeah, the formula seems to be quite chunky for me and it didn't really seem to sit well on my skin as opposed to like I swatched the Anastasia palettes and they seem to just kind of like meld into the skin a bit more and blend in a bit better. So that's why I haven't jumped on any of the Huda Beauty palettes and then also the mini eyeshadow palettes. Now these look really nice but from first reviews that I've seen on the internet People are quite disappointed by these and they're saying that the formula isn't quite the same on the mini palettes to the Desert Dusk palette and I'm really enjoying the Desert Dusk palette so if the formula is not the same I feel like I would be disappointed. So I'm going to say no on the mini palettes for now but I definitely would like to swatch them in store before I go ahead and purchase them and yeah if I do feel that they are similar in formula um, I would go ahead and purchase them but for now it's a no and I have also heard these palettes look a lot a lot smaller in like real life than they do in the pictures like in real life I've seen that they like fit in people's palms and they're supposed to be I think nine pan palettes so it's a little bit disappointing that they're quite small so purely for a value for money point of view I don't think I would purchase them anyway next I have the lime crime holiday collection now these are I'm just purely talking about the diamond 
crusher cracker boxes so these are a set of three there's three sets and they both they all come in with three of these diamond crusher lip like a lip gloss they're like a lip topper yeah no 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 these 25 each for three which is a pretty good deal but I haven't heard good things about the formula. I've heard that they're quite chunky on the lips and I don't need anything else drawing attention to the texture on my lips. There's enough texture there as it is without having a product draw more attention to it. And I don't like the idea of glitter in and like a gloss on my lips. So unfortunately it's no for me. Thanks for I'm crying. Next I have the Christian Louis Vuitton holiday collection here. Now... This packaging is stunning, like it's beautiful. In this set, it looks like there's a liquid lipstick, a lipstick and a nail polish. This stuff looks beautiful, but this is, mind you, in American dollars. The nail color is $50, the lip lacquer is $90 and the lipstick is $90. So in Australian dollars, we are looking way over hundred dollars per item so like the lipsticks you're probably looking at at least hundred and fifty dollars for one lipstick so just purely because I have bills to pay this girl has bills to pay and I need my money for other things I need my money to be able to put food on the table and I would much rather food on my table than a lipstick can I just say by the way like ninety dollars add an extra $85 and you've got a 30 pan Viseart palette. Why would you spend that much money on one item? It's just ridiculous that people would even pay that. Next up, I have the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. This palette looks really nice. The packaging is gorgeous, but the, the colors in the palette don't really jump out at me. They don't speak to me and I don't think I would really use it. Like I love shimmery shadows. I love using shimmers on the eyelid and then just like chucking some mattes in the crease in my outer corner. But I don't think I would use this all that much. The colors in it aren't spectacular. They're not like popping. They're not wham in my face. So for that reason, I don't want this palette. <sighs> Next, I've mentioned Morphe a few times in my video before. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to see more videos from me, click the subscribe button down below. I upload videos three times a week, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the moment. Thanks for dropping by to see this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, everyone.